All right. Here we are at the end game of Final Fantasy X. Time to defeat Sin. Once and for all. With them here, it's like Yevon authorizes his whole operation. With them here, it's like... Anything could happen. Make sure you're ready for combat. Wait, I kind of get back there. Give me the chest. Another serene item? Is Berserk going to be a problem coming up? I don't think so. That's all going to Yuna does. Okay. Are you ready? I am ready. I hope. Mr. Kinock, please. Mm, I probably should have saved in case I do die. I don't think I'll die, but you never know. Sin always returns for its spawn. To make sure, we're going to encourage them to call out to it. You won't have to. It'll come. I remembered Oren telling me. Sin is my old man. Sin is Jekt. Uh, I love these bizarrely directed PlayStation 2 cutscenes. Who knows what's happening? It could be anything. Alright, first I gotta destroy its claws, I believe. Waka can get that. The claws, at least... Yes, the claws destroy its piercing, which isn't a big deal for Auron, but... Hmm. Hmm. I feel like giving Lulu haste will be useful. Something I always just assumed about Final Fantasy with haste specifically is that it lowered your accuracy. And as far as I know, that's never the case. I just always figured that must be how it works. It only has a potion? Okay. Head moving suspiciously. It's gonna do something. Time for a headshot. Oh, Tia's out there calling for a, a no scope. Immune. The head stops moving. Alright. I might want to save the Grand Summon for later, but maybe not. I think this is the real boss. So, yeah. Oh, now would be a good time to start break breaking out the brakes. I don't think any enemies... I don't, yeah, I don't think there's any enemies that are immune to Orin's brakes. Maybe specific brakes? But yeah, just generally not a common thing. Okay. What do I have that's useful? Oh, you have haste too? Okay, I guess I'll give that to... Actually... Hmm. 
Waka's already got... Ooh, look at all those turns. Oh, man. Okay, yeah, no. Give it to Waka. Okay. I get the feeling it's immune to dark. Yeah. Lulu should probably... I wish they had more AoE options, but you take what you get, I guess. Oh, not Demi. Well, that's a pretty weak Demi. Okay. I'm... The... Actually, why is it called Demi in this? Isn't, shouldn't it be Gravity and Gravera and Graviga? Oh, well. One down. These come back pretty fast, though, I'm pretty sure, so... I hope I can keep up the pace. Not oh, the head moving suspiciously. Right, the head to disable its venom. Got it. Venom sounds bad. Like, really bad. If poison is already bad, then venom. Venom. Overkill. Hell yeah. Alright, now I can really start damaging the body. I don't think this is going to do me much good at all, but we'll see. A perfect attack. No, a thousand damage is not bad, actually. Hmm, do I do the head or do I do the body? Because I feel the arms are going to come back any second now. But I think once all that stuff regenerates, I'll bring out the Grand Summon. I don't think this works like Morty Arcus or anything where it some it drains the main boss's health. Although getting rid of Demi won't won't be bad. Cause that it doesn't it can't kill me, but it can be annoying. Oh, does it say that the arms regenerate after three turns? Down you go. You want a crit, nice. All right, I guess I could lance it for a bit of spot healing. Mm, that's not ideal. It looks like haste's gone on Lulu. Is there actually a way for me to check? That's weird. Actually, these guys can really take care of the damage, honestly. Ooh, but not the healing. Hmm.
And they're back. Luckily, Yuna's right there. And yeah, Oren can just pierce through this, I think. Oh no, does he not have piercing on this weapon? He must. So it must just be a flat damage reduction. Alright. Shadow the Hedgehog time. Now to nuke everything. Wait, can I get a free turn? I can. Immune. Okay, energy blast, correct. There we go. And the head's still not back, so this isn't actually perfectly optimal, but it should be fine. I don't think this is going to be too bad of a fight. I've got a deceptively strong Auron and Kimari, considering I'm playing them wrong. Well, not, not Kimari. 4,000. Nice. That's a hell of an overkill. And there's the dodge. Thank you for another free hit. Maybe I can even overkill it. Yeah, actually, it had like 9,000 health, and it's doing 4,000, it seems? Yeah! Hell yeah! Oh, look at that transition. That looks great. Even now, they're still doing the mix of 3D on CG to really, like, push what they could do on the PlayStation 2. I love this era of, like, PlayStation 1 and PS2, Square Enix is just so ambitious and so impressive to such an insane degree. That's not so much of a smooth transition, unfortunately. Look out. But yeah, like, so much time is passing before the actual EXP that you get from this boss fight. Like, they don't, they're not beholden to the old RPG rules. Ooh, flickering lights warning. But yeah, the, the old rules... I love how they just... It, Sin is so absurdly powerful. Like, it's like... It's a Dragon Ball Z character in a Final Fantasy setting in terms of, like, the damage it does to the planet and people. People get atomized and, like, the planet... You can see the effects from space. That's, like, something Squall can do and that's about it. Alright, now it's time for this part of the boss fight, which shouldn't be hard because they give you Seymour and he's not on the wrong sphere grid. Seymour is what we would call a sage. He has white maid magic and black magic. But also, most significantly, he has an overdrive. I think I want to get rid of the head first. Hell yeah! Right, so it can be a bit much to get Seymour's overdrive, but it's the only time you ever get to see it. So, what does he have in terms of this? 
I wonder if we set up the null attacks. Why is he missing one null? He has no null blizzard. Or whatever it is. Null frost? Weird. <laughs> he has 991 MP. Like, I, I, I love when RPGs do this. Like, I love Sephiroth in Final Fantasy VII, too, where he has so much better stat and magic than Cloud does when you play as him. That stuff's great. Even his staff attack looks more effective than uh, whatever's going on with Yuna and her like dainty little smack. All right, did that actually give him power break? Good, okay, that's all I wanted. Step two, we break these. I wish they made it so that his overdrive just worked like it did with Aeons, so that you could just keep on getting uh, stuff from like dodging, from attacking, from uh, doing damage, from taking damage, and just everything, instead of it just being when he gets attacked. Because like I really think it should be pushing you to make sure you can actually see it happen. But that's just me, I guess. Alright, I guess I'll just start doing some cheering and some jinxing. I don't know if it's ever come up, but uh, things like cheer and jinx and stuff can be stacked five times total. And I think that so, uh, Jinx re reduces luck. I think that's pretty obvious. But I think that reduced luck actually increases your crit rate because I believe the crit formula balances against the enemy's luck stat. So it's kind of a weird like reverse boost of luck. Yeah, even doing 300 damage, his attack stat must be decent. Man, I think this might take way too long to actually build up his overdrive gauge. I forgot how slow it is. Yuna actually has more HP than Seymour. That's definitely not supposed to happen. Uh, actually, now I think about it. A bit of a missed opportunity to not give Seymour the summon command. Like, I guess they don't want to reveal the fact that Anima is a real summon you can use. But they did just make a big deal about showing that off. Huh. Yeah, there's also a good chance he won't even attack Seymour. So yeah. Tragically, I don't think showing off the overdrive is in the cards. Though I wonder if I get EXP bonuses for each of these overkills. Because that's something I've really got to consider for this run. Because I'm in such a deficit.
I wonder if we should use a summon. I haven't used the Woker in a long time. The Woker. So I can actually heal now, with uh, unlike with Shadow the Hedgehog. Hmm. Attack an enemy, damages an enemy. What a weird distinction. Okay, that works. One shot, one kill. Yeah, Ifrit has a great design. Absolutely fantastic. Man, look at all those S levels for Seymour. I could take him way up the intended path for his sphere grid. But yeah, I think 10 might have the best Ifrit. Six key spheres. Okay. That's nothing to sneeze at, that's for sure. I like how this scene happens super early in Final Fantasy X, and yet a lot of disingenuous YouTube critics say, what, no one ever thought to just attack Sin and defeat him that way? Like this, like, it's so nakedly what the whole point of this scene is. This is, like, the whole point is to show just how futile and desperate the situation is, but no. I gotta be an angry YouTuber. Alright, so after all that worry about that boss fight, things actually went very smoothly. I got so many overkills. Like an actual insane number of overkills. Six level one key spheres. I think I can actually afford to sp just spread a few around on some useless stuff. I might actually get some extra stats just for... Just get the extra plus four magic for Yuna just for... Just for the sake of it. <laughs> Staring at the sky, lifeless. Slightly warm, but no sign of breathing. Rest in peace. Instant, painless death. Well, that's a relief. Rec reclining, breathless. That is your... That's a, that's a real good one. Rest in peace. A 
Peaceful death. Probably had no clue. Ooh, that's rough. Still so young. Okay. These are just the ones that are lucky enough to not get atomized. What's going on? Wait, I thought I got you to die. What? Where's Luzu? Do I have to tell him to, to die multiple times? What the hell? Don't you run away from me! Hurt it. Your powers are still too weak. But I must do something. You can't. I love this theme. Fleeting dream. It's so good. Everyone goes with two Xanarkins, but this is really up there, in, in my opinion. I love all the, like, background structures, too. There's so many things underwater in Final Fantasy X. It's great. Before I knew what I was doing, there I was, chasing him down like a thief at market. Maybe I was angry. Maybe I wanted to go home. I kept thinking of Xanarkand and my old man. Did they just plop some Macalania Woods assets in front of a Xanarkin background? Oh no, Blitzball! <laughs> I feel like that transition was slicker back in the time before bad loading screens. They say you don't practice as one, that you're gonna retire. Let them talk. I'm still the best. They say you're no good because you drink all the time. I can quit drinking whenever I want. Then do it now. What would you say? You just said you can't. <laughs> Tomorrow. People really undersell how much of a piece of shit Jack is. There he goes again. Like, everyone's like, oh yeah, Chad dad, he steals, teaches his girls in a dream. But no, he's like a real piece of work. I was talking with a friend about how it's not shown very explicitly, but he does go through a lot of growth somewhere at Inspira on his journey. Sin's toxin playing tricks on my mind. But yeah, no, like, the, the tedious that Jack knows, at least, is very much just died today? an abusive piece of shit. People die, and Yuna dances. When will she stop And so, dancing? I go, the world of real emotion is surrounding me. I won't give in to it now. 
What can I do for you? What can I do for you? Many stories ended here today. What can I do for you? I can't hear you. What can I do for you? Sin had come and gone, but I remained here. All right, spear time. The last thing for oh actually hi huh, he does have a few connected points oh, so i can actually get a little bit of stuff nothing huge for kimari but you know better than nothing what else am i gonna get extractability that's I'm, I'm starting to leave the point where that's actually useful but it never hurts yes more evasion for yuna oh i guess i'm not doing that Oh well. Now we're getting to magic. Ooh, 17. Okay, that's not bad. Wait, but isn't this Riku's path? No, okay. No, wait, this is. Uh? Wait, where am I? Wait, no, so I go up and around? Hmm. That's weird. Right, because Riku's path's up this way. So going this way to actually just divert right into Yuna's path. We have to remember to not go left, otherwise, roof. This is just a bad sphere grid. I just outright. Hey, now. Man, Waka's even beating Titus for magic. That's that. Time for some healing. Alright. I think there's another relationship influencing moment, so I should look for Kimari first. Uh oh. A swift retreat. Satisfied? What do you mean? Those who turned from Yevon died, while the faithful live on. Hmm. The past ten years have changed you, I see. I don't think, it, because I'm not using a guide, I doubt I can actually get the Kimari date. But you never know. You do not look so well. But now, more than ever, you must be the people's strength. Their confidence. Anyone else would be expected to show their sorrow. Look at those photos in the background. You are a summoner. You are Spira's hope. Until sin is defeated, you must not relent. Do you understand? Yes. I understand. Are you afraid? Is this stuff on Seymour's belly chest hair, or is it like a weird skin texture? Lady Yuna, until next we meet. I don't like the idea of Seymour being the only Final Fantasy character with chest hair. Uh oh, I missed my chance to talk to Lulu. She's been replaced by Yuna. Hey, come on. 
At least, like, look at me. Come on. You can't ignore the teachings. You can't... Rest while you can. We leave soon. Is checked. Yeah. For a while there, I thought I could feel him. But that doesn't mean I believe you. Sin is checked. He his art versus his model is definitely not chest hair. That's a huge relief. But that still raises the question of what is it? Sin does. He wanted to show that to you. Do you know why? How am I supposed to know? So you would kill him. As long as he is sin, Jack will keep killing. He wants you to stop him. You gotta be Jack kidding. kills and Yuna dances. You know when will he stop anyway? killing? <laughs> I'm not done talking to you. Don't you run away. You're the one running. I like this part. Healing in Final Fantasy X is completely meaningless because of Save Spears auto healing you, but you can still just make this exhausted white mage heal you. For no reason. It's meant to be tattoos? That's really bizarre, yeah. Deserved a better deal. You're still up. You're still charging extra. These are all 20% extra. You are the villain of Final Fantasy as a whole. Oh, wait, I just noticed Kimari's nose is, like, distorting from his talking. That's a really intense attention to detail for a PlayStation 2 game. He scrunches up like a real cat. Another example of... Final Fantasy X and Final Fantasy VII being connected. They do this exact same bit with Red Thirteen. <laughs> Alright, so I remember this road specifically being really dangerous because they can uh, petrify you. So I may have to... I, I, I may just get party wiped, honestly. A soft ring. Oh! No chance to equip it anyways. I wonder... A soft ring probably isn't a bad replacement for what Yuna's got right now. Alright. Mushroom is low priority now, I think. First step is definitely... Getting rid of these guys. Yes, I counter your petrification.
every single attack is going to be a heart attack now. Because who knows when they're going to actually just petrify a party member. Oh yeah, you can't get overkills if someone gets petrified. But on the other hand, petrification is instant death for enemies, as opposed to almost instant death for you. Okay, maybe... I can't see myself relying on Yuna here, but someone being stone-proof definitely wouldn't hurt. What does the Echo Ring do? Yeah, I think this is better for now. Reduce current HP. Yeah, that's not the end of the world. Hmm! Okay, Basilisks are what I remember being tough. I love that effect. It's so 2000s. Wait, I think there's something good you can steal from Basilisks. Bring up Kimari for that, I guess. No. I'm gonna do that every time. I'm so used to steel being first. Petrified grenade. That's not the good thing, I don't think. Oh yeah, no, actually, so Yuna has S and us, so this is actually a really good idea. Because she can S and us when it gets turned to stone. Is that actually her best damage she can do right now is Lancet? That's rough. Huh. Yeah, I know. Lancet's stronger. Woof. Hell yeah, overkill. Every overkill counts in this game. Oh no, Tidus. Oh, this is a long road. So, I had a place planned out where I was going to uh, use my magic sphere to get a plus four, because that would also allow Kimari to get it once he passes through Lulu's route. So it must be here that I was planning on using it, because that's the next... I could just use it here. That probably makes more sense. Those NPCs are getting far away, but they are all full of items for me to get. Why are you running? Stop running. Oh, this is a rough formation. Mm. Okay, I'll, I'll keep Yuna out. I guess I'll just lance it for now. But I gotta get rid of those mushrooms really fast. Oh no. Wait, did they get an HP bonus? What's that? Oh, okay. Just barely the, the variation didn't get it. But this should be fine. Yeah, there we go. Yes, keep targeting Yuna. This is really paying off. Oh, I should have... No, but I can't swap out Yuna. It's not safe. And I gotta save... Waka, because he might petrify them. Wow. It's like it's magnetized towards the stoneproof ring. So whatever I'm thinking of that you can get from this enemy must be a rare steel or just it's a drop. But there's something I, something about this enemy I remember. It's at the back of my mind that I'm just trying to figure out. There's something here. Oh, 
I wonder if I drained all of its MP. I didn't check if I if it got MP the first time, because oh wait, wrong guy. Still haven't attacked with Waka yet. Oh, it's immune, okay. Comrade, huh? I might be able to get an overkill with Baron. I'm not sure. Oh, I have delay attack with Yuna. Right, I haven't even adjusted to the fact that she's uh, Tidus at all. Like, less so than anyone else. And I haven't adjusted well to anybody yet, because they haven't really deviated enough yet. But the time will come. How much strength am I going to get down here? Two points? Ugh. It's going to take a bit to get her strength up to par. Why would I go that far on my way for... No, it's not that far, I guess, but... Two points, not four. She really isn't on the Auron path. Ugh. Slow is another really good thing to get, though. So I'll keep an eye out for that. Oh, 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 oh! Talk to me! No! Oh, finally, a normal set of encounters. Hello, potion. That does something. I think it makes your party, s or not your party, but it makes. I think it heals you and makes you slow. Maybe and maybe it has some other worse stuff too. Oh man, he can't even do the damage to one drop them anymore. Oof, rough. Bonk. Alright, so Yuna's going to have the accuracy and speed, but she's probably not going to be doing good damage for a while at this rate. So that's a little bit of a problem, but I'm sure it'll balance out eventually. Nice! Darkness! For free! I preserved Lulu's precious, precious MP. <laughs> to me. Oh, they can't be talked to. Okay. All my comrades are dead. All because we ignored the teachings. Hey, ethers are kind of expensive, so it'll be worth it. I love this super cynical bit where the they allow the excommunicated crusaders back into the religion. It's so good. It's so evil. All right. Okay, keep keep Yuna out cuz she's really paid off actually in big dividends. Beware the third eye. Its stone gaze can cause petrification. Oh, Kamari can learn stone breath. Okay. I haven't done that yet, I don't think. Okay. Die. Die in one shot and don't counter me. See, it must only have 20 MP. 
I wonder if lancing it makes it so it can't use the stone gaze, or if stone gaze is a free skill. It's hard to say. Nope, it's a free skill. Ugh. Hello, underwhelming teacher. Yeah, I'm, I've been interested in doing this challenge for a long time. I'm glad to finally give it a shot. Uh, like the, the Sphere Grids always had this thing where it's like, oh, you, you could go the wrong way if you want. You could totally do it. And it doesn't seem like they actually want you to do that. It feels like it was a, a, a fake out because it takes a long time. You, you get into a really big deficit if you do that. But I'm curious how it's going to turn out. Gotta make sure also that I cure anyone who's petrified. Because, yeah, then they won't get any EXP. And that's just... That's no good. Yuna's too fast. Those t disc genes are starting to show. Alright, so I'm, I may... Because I'm coming up on the end of this stream, but I may do some off-screen grinding again because i've got getting a little bit more exp now from these fights so and i really just want to at least get Oran into the, the lulu part of his grid he's so close but there's just th these blank spaces right here but then mp finally and then he just needs some spells too <laughs> actual spells to use Hmm, not doing bad on M death. All right, it begins. Plus four strength. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's still like the lowest strength I've got. But plus four strength. Soon, Lulu, you will destroy. I don't think those guys are that bad, but any enemy that looks like that, I don't trust. I'm worried they're going to do something to mess with me. Hmm, maybe I should storm breath them. Eh, I'll save it for another group. These enemies also always make me think they're going to give me something good if I steal. Which I, yeah, Electro Marble, that's not terrible. I should be using the use command as well as stealing, but I don't desperately need it right now. Wow, did it... It just missed. Wow. Good. Still got Kimari, but still. Secret technique. I can get past your fire. I always could, too. I just never thought to do this before.
Eh. I knew you would do that. You only have the one attack, but I predicted it with flawless accuracy. How's your healing doing now? Getting there. Yuna's still a little bit better. I wish I had an AoE heal. Go oh well. It is weird how anti-AoE this is, the Final Fantasy X is in general. Except, except with that, I guess. Oh, and, and at the last time I'll ever use Stone Breath. Yeah, Riku really does have a packed grid. I guess because you get her so much later than everyone else. So they have to catch her up quick, but man, it's really paying off for Waka. <laughs> Still a ways. First down the moon flow to the Guado city of Guado Salam. Then we cross the Thunder Plains to the temple of Makalania. Oh, boy. <laughs> before, that, <laughs> before that, we get to play at the temple of Jose. I, I, we can't just skip <laughs> the way she says that is Can just huh? deeply imprinted into my mind. I have to pray to the faith in every temple in order to earn the final A. That's a summoner's training. She's got to prepare mind and body, all just to get ready for the final summoning. Hmm. Must be tough, Yuna. <laughs> I'll be fine with you here. All right, I just new guy. <laughs> Me? Who else? What can I do for you, boss? I think they do a, a great job contriving reasons to never say Titus's name. Ever. You know her. Oh, is that a chest I missed? Distance herself from you. Hmm. We do not I'm not gonna go back and get that. I see. I think. Yeah, but even if I did say something, no one believed me, you know? You know would. Ah, you have a point. Come to think of it. Did I really have to know about Jet? What about my feelings? Better than you finding out at a critical moment, becoming emotional. What? Me? Emotional? <laughs> I heard you were quite the crybaby. Yeah, maybe when I was a kid. <laughs> maybe even a little now. Just a little. Hey, I still don't buy your story, you hear? Monkeys. Weird, messed up monkeys. Alright, you're still not talking to me. I hope you at least give me your relationship points. Yuna, it is good to see you and your companions are well. Yourselves as well, Captain. We were worried. Praise be to Yevon. We escaped with our lives, but our troops were decimated. Of all our chocobos, only this one made it. We make pretty poor chocobo mounted forces without chocobos. I wish they updated these models a little bit more. Like, the main cast gets such a glow up, and then these important characters who just aren't quite important enough are just in such rough shape. They look fine from a distance, actually. Like, right now, they look fine. But when you zoom in and the hair is still all messed up, it's real rough. We should never have ignored the teachings. Is that the Jose Temple? Oh, 
I can move. Okay. Someone talk to me. Why could I control myself there? That was pointless. Someone is already in there. Yeah, so this plot point is just gone in 10 2. The temple is always like this, even though there's no way for people to be praying to the faith anymore. Right. In we go. This is such a Final Fantasy IX song. Or certain parts of Final Fantasy VIII. Like, there's some times where. Nobuo's music just becomes Nobuo ass Nobuo music. Anyways, that's that for now. I don't know if it shows up, but I did set up a, an actual schedule for Twitch going forward. I'm going to try and keep. I can't make too much of a promise yet because I'm still just trying to figure things out a bit, but in theory, I'm going to be streaming on Tuesday, Wednesday, Friday going forward at around 11 o'clock Pacific. And it should say what the games are too. So going forward, it should be a little bit easier to keep track of. Anyways, that's this stream for today. Thanks for everyone tuning in, especially for the Kirby stuff. Well, see you around.